Good morning, everyone. This is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I'm going to do about a 20-mile uh, ride today, so we'll be doing a little reviewing on the Metro X by Magnum. Um, this is definitely becoming one of my favorite cruiser bikes that I own. Very comfortable. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, get out and ride today, and uh, and I'll see you guys on the trail. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. We are uh, out on a about a 20-mile ride, maybe 18. We are riding the uh, Met Metro X from Magnum. It is my 26 inch cruiser e-bike. I want to thank Blick, or want to uh, thank Magnum for sending the e-bike to me. And then, uh, I actually put a little grease on these brakes or some, uh, brake cleaner but they're still squeaking a little bit yeah I hope you guys have had a great weekend I definitely did had another bike company um, emailed me last night see if I wanted to collaborate with them and I told him certainly I won't announce the name of it until I get the e-bike in. But I think you guys are going to really enjoy the, if I get this e-bike in, it's a moped style e-bike. Really big battery on it. And it's certainly um, made for off-road, which I know you got a lot of you guys are interested in those type of e-bikes. So I'm looking forward to them collaborating with me so I can get that. I got another bike supposed to come in, uh, I think on the 24th or somewhere around there. And then a um, another bike company actually... Um, I think he said they're shipping the week of the 10th, which is this week. I have never got a um, confirmation on that yet, or a confirmation email, so I'm waiting on that, and that is a um, trike that I'm getting ready to review. So yeah, there's some things going on here that I'm happy with. There's a church that I go to called the Church of Eastmont. And their motto on that is go out and be the church. Couldn't go through the uh, school parking lot. They had it shut off, so. I had to get back on the road today. A little bit anyway.
Yeah, I got a lot of yard work done yesterday. I had to actually um, weed all my front flower gardens and my side of my fence, and boy, that took me a while. But boy, it was in desperate need of it. Uh, some of the areas I couldn't see the flowers for the weeds. See, I got that done yesterday, which I'm happy about that. But yeah, here we are on our normal trail. Like I say, we're going to head up to the river today, which is somewhere around uh, nine miles, eight to nine. But I'll tell you, this uh, Magna Metro X is extremely comfortable. Very quiet motor. I did put one of my giddy up seats on there, so I'll do a little review on that when I get to the halfway point, like I do with the bike. We will not be stopping at the blessing box today. I normally would, but I actually forgot to pick up something to put in there, so we'll do that probably tomorrow. I try to uh, keep stuff in there at least twice a week. I want to give a shout out to a couple e-bike channels that uh, I really like their content and I recommend you subscribe to them is uh, Richard down at uh, e-bikes reviews and adventures down in Florida and then of course Russ is right up around the Chicago area I want to give him a shout out to he puts out excellent material they're bigger channels than I am but I'm glow I'm growing slowly But I really like to watch their videos. I think they may be finally getting ready to surface these uh, these bumps here because they're getting kind of rough. Beautiful day today, probably 70 degrees, maybe 73. I think it's what it was when I left. So we have a gorgeous day with a nice little breeze blowing today, so. Yeah, normally I'll say on the road again, but uh, no, we're on the trail again now. But it's been about a week, week and a half since I got out my Magnum Metro X, and I wanted to do another uh, video review for the company. As I mentioned, I try to get out a minimum of 25 videos per manufacturer, which is well beyond all bike companies as far as what they put out. But I really like to get up to 100 miles, 200 miles, and do another review just to see where the bike stands as far as durability, anything that may break, things I notice, any noises. Yeah, 
That's why I do those. I still need to order another wire for this. They sent me the wrong um, cable wire on your left for the uh, headlight and the horn. I'm assuming they sent the wrong um, plug-in wire, so I need to uh, get that from them. I haven't texted or emailed them yet, so I need to do that. Somebody nice enough to let me and that walker go through. I'm kind of cruising along about 18 miles an hour here, I believe. I'm in pedal assist four. That seems to be very comfortable pedal assist for me on this bike without having to put too much effort into the pedals. Seen a couple deer last time I did a ride on this trail. But there's always beautiful scenery along this trail. You've got rivers you go along. Very light traffic as far as uh, during the week. It's not bad at all to get out. That's the reason I like to ride this time during the week. Of course, I put a half knee mirror on this, which I put everything down in the description box that I purchased. I really love this style mirror. And I buy these bars to go across here so I, in the cockpit area so I can add things to it. So yeah, every time I get an e-bike, I'm having to buy a bunch of accessories for it that they don't ship on the e-bike, but yeah, what a great trade-off. A bike, and all you gotta do is buy a few accessories for it. Now, when I go to sell these bikes, which I do at a highly reduced cost, when I get done with them, I'll take most of the accessories off of it so I can use it on other bikes to review. Yeah, let me know if you guys been able to get out on your e-bikes or what you're riding or what you would like to see me ride. And if I can't get the company to reach back to me if you want me to review a bike, hopefully you guys can reach out to the company and say you'd like to have me e review that e-bike. There's a better chance they're going to send me a bike on your recommendations than mine looks like we got a recumbent bike coming up up here how you doing Starting to see a lot more electric recumbent bikes. But this e-bike market is just exploding. As I think I mentioned last year, they sold like uh, almost 800,000 
e-bike units across the uh, U.S. last year. And the previous year, they only had like 500,000 sold. So yeah, it went up almost over 50% that it grew, or close to it. And I'll tell you, I just love riding these things. They are so much fun. I mean, I love to ride my cruisers as well, just like on a nice, easy uh, bike ride. And sometimes I'll get my um, off-road bikes, my 20-inch fat tire bikes. I got three of them, and I get them out and ride them. But I'll ride them a lot uh, off-road too. Because I know you guys like to see that off-road experience. I must not got enough um, brake cleaner on these because things still squeaking. Thought I had that corrected. I went out and test rode it and seemed to quit. Now the squeaks are back. So maybe a little adjustments I got to do in the calipers. Boy, I tell you, it's just a gorgeous morning to ride. And I put a video out uh, a few videos ago on uh, seniors and safety on these things and uh, their fear of riding them. And I had a lot of people like that video. But yeah, don't let an e-bike scare you if you're a senior or discourage you from getting out and enjoying your life because you're missing out on a lot of fun. On your left. I think last year I did over 3,000 miles on my e-bikes. And a lot of that was reviewing bikes and the such, but but I tell you, every time I get out, I just love it. It frees my mind and my spirit and just lets me forget about life in general if there's things that are going on that which everybody gets, that this is a way to get out and just uh, release that. So, I do recommend seniors, anybody actually, needs to get out and ride these things and, uh, and hopefully you've got some bike trails in your local area that you can get on because they're much safer than the road is, certainly. But yeah, if there's anybody here in the Dayton, Ohio area that owns e-bikes that are watching my channel and you guys want to do a group ride, just let me know. I know a couple other uh, channels do that. I really like riding by myself. Because then I can really focus on uh, reviewing the bike and everything about the bike that I'm riding as far as what it's doing, comfort level. Like I said, any noises I hear, I, uh, I keep a mental uh, library of those things in my head and when I get back, I'll jot those things down, the things I need to uh, maybe address the company with that I'm seeing on the bike or whatever. But for the most part, I just love getting out and riding. To do 18 to 20 miles is, is absolutely very easy to do anymore. I mean, in about an hour, hour and a half, I'm done. It takes more time to edit a video and upload it and all that to YouTube more than it does to do my ride sometimes. 
and that's kind of normal and any youtuber out there will tell you that I'm still learning things about software that I use as far as um, editing software I'm trying to find some really good ones but some of them are so way over my head that I can't figure them out so I've tried a couple trial versions on a couple of them and I just really I'm 71 years old now and I did not grow up in that era so I do use iMovie quite a bit I'll use Power Director occasionally on some of my videos Richard down at E-Bikes and Adventures down in Florida recommended that one he, he's even sent some uh, some tutorial videos for me that he does on it and I really appreciated out of Richard to do that that meant a lot to me that he'd reach out to another YouTuber for that but yeah we're really uh, like a nice community of sea bikers I certainly try not to say anything negative about another uh, YouTuber or an e-biker it just drags us all down when you do that There's my buddy back there. I see him all the time. I stop and talk to him occasionally. Yeah, we only got a couple more miles to go to get up to our halfway point. It goes so quick. You know, when you're cruising along 18 to 20 mile an hour, it don't take you long to get somewhere. I've only been riding for like 22 minutes, something like that, and already come 6.33 miles. Yeah, I definitely need to either bleed these brakes or adjust them calipers because uh, my front brake is really uh, going almost all the way down when I'm braking. So, on your left. So, I'll look at that sometime today. I'll see if I can get them fixed. Those are fairly simple uh, repairs that you can do on an e-bike. Caleb really taught me quite a bit of things about them, um, about small repairs. Now, he's only 18 years old, so uh, he really enjoys working on these things. I'm also riding along in seventh gear. I normally stay in six or seven almost everywhere I go. I did have another bike company reach out to me and uh, they may send me a bike here. I'm not for sure he wants to send an agreement so I'll have to go over all that before I agree to it. Um, it's a low end of their bikes and it's like twenty eight, twenty nine hundred dollars and uh, it's a cruiser style bike
but it is a direct drive and I think it's um, I think it's a mid drive motor on it as well so I haven't got all the uh, specs figured out on that so I'll let you know when that's coming up But yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, viewing my channel, and my views are really going up, and my subscribers are going up, and I'm getting a lot more likes on my videos, so I appreciate you guys uh, watching my content. Please subscribe if you have not. Leave any comments, certainly down in the comment sections or questions where I can answer them for you. And again, I'll link everything to, about the bike and uh, accessories that I bought for the bike. I'll link that down in the description box, obviously. A little less than a half a mile to go here. We'll be at our halfway point. We'll talk, get off and talk about the bike a little bit. So far, I think I've... Um, ridden this bike maybe 100 and 150 miles so far and I don't have anything negative whatsoever to talk about the Magnum Metro X it's a well-built well-engineered quality bike that's all I'll say about it again it's a 26 inch it's kind of a mid step through type bike But it's got a lot of great features on it, which I'll explain to you once I get up here. And I'll be getting my Blix Soul Eclipse out here before long. It's my other cruiser bike, 26 inch. I'll get it out and do another review on it as well. As soon as I cross the bridge here, that's where we'll uh, get off the bike and I'll take a short video on the bike and then I'll eat some lunch and then I'll, we'll head back again. Yeah, we'll go up a little farther. Somebody's up here. Um, Actually, I'm going to go back to the other side of the bridge. I've got a couple bikes up there, and I really don't like videoing around people because I don't want to put them on camera or anything like that. So uh, they must be exploring the river down here. they got their bikes up here, and I see they got a sleeping bag sitting on the side there. So they could be down here fishing in the river or anything, though. Anyway, yeah, we'll get on the other side of the bridge here. It's got the same kind of deck platform where people can rest. We'll just do it over here. Yeah, I put that uh, that brake cleaner, but they're still squeaking quite a bit, so I've got to fix that. Anyway, let me get off this bike here a little bit. What I like about this bike, it's got this kickstand that um, you just push down and... Um, it's really cool. It's a different kind of kickstand. You know, it actually leaves the uh, front tire in the air, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the bike a little bit. Get these glasses off. It's a little sunny out here, so I hope I'm not uh, distorting too too much of the video with this strong sunshine here. This is the uh, Magnum Metro X. It's a beautiful style on this bike. It, uh, I really like how they did engineered these um, this down tube in the frame here. I think they did an excellent job on that. And uh, yeah, and it's got um, a rear hub motor. I believe this is only a 500 rear hub motor, maybe a 750. I'll correct that if I uh, look at the description. And um, it's got a 48 volt I think 17 amp hour battery it's a different style battery here and then it's also got uh, 
a color display up here is which you can see which is um very nice unit here uh it's got the trip trips on here as you can see um i've done 37.6 miles on i think on my last ride and about 27 actually this thing has only really got about 37.6 miles i may have had that wrong that's what the odometer is showing on this bike so yeah i need to get out and ride it some more i thought i had some more miles it must be on the blicks that i have that your pedal assist is up and down here as you can see that's five boost then you go on down to turbo which is pedal assist four sport three tour tour one and eco and uh, you're looking about eight to ten miles an hour then when you go up to um, tour you probably get i don't know 12 mile an hour 14 and i think sports about um 16 to 18 and uh right around 20 mile an hour for turbo and boost will get you anywhere 25 to 28 mile an hour depending on your terrain and how flat it is and all that so yeah that's a little bit about the um the uh, color display here it's a very nice one it even shows you what watt hours you're uh, pedaling at on the right side here and i really like that it's got a um, thumb twist throttle here very nice and uh, I'm getting to like the uh, thumb throttles a little more than the twist throttles um, since I've had a few of the bikes now with the thumb throttle so I'm really liking that and then um, the wire management's done very well here as you can see everything is just plug and play right into here and then it goes down into the down tube very nicely so but that's a little bit about that and it's also got um, front suspension on this uh, where you can lock this out if you want to do some dirt riding or whatever you can adjust it but it's very comfortable front suspension love the pedals on this they're metal these are not plastic these are well go pedals and i'll tell you what they are very very nice pedals and then um, it's got um, front and rear i think these are 160 millimeter rotors but it's um, of course it's got the hydraulic brakes on here and uh, I think the tires are maybe two, two and a half, maybe 2.7. Again, I'll put all this down in the description box about that. And um, yeah, I come with a back rack. I had these, I had this pannier bag, so I added that to the bike itself. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful bike, as you can see. Now, a couple accessories I added. I added this mirror. These are half knee mirrors, which I'll put down in the description box. I love these mirrors. I, I'm not a real fan of the bar end mirrors. I've got a bike or two that's got them, but I really like the half knee mirror. And I added the um, bar here so I can put accessories across the cockpit here. And then I've got this um, light here. This thing is extremely bright. This is the daytime, and I want you to look at this. I mean, it's just incredible the light that it puts out. And again, this is the Akruna. I'll put that down in the description box um, on that. And uh, that's the only headlight I buy anymore. I don't like the bike headlights they put on these. Actually, I did not even install the bike light because they sent me the wrong uh, plug-in cable here. That, and that controls the horn and the headlight. So I got to reach out to um, Magnum to send that to me. And your controller sits back behind um, the seat post, which is really nice. And the phone holder, I also um, buy one particular brand. I'll put that down in there. I'm not, can't remember which that is. One thing I did forget, this has got a twist um, thing here for your, for your gears, which I like that. Um, I'm in seven, as I mentioned. These are Shimano's. They are, um, and these are Clark's hydraulic brakes, by the way. Um, that's a different brand I have not seen before, except on this bike that I'm reviewing. And uh, so, yeah, I'd need to do some adjustments on them brakes a little bit. But other than that, I mean, um, the pannier bag, like I said, I already had this, so I just threw this on the bike where I can carry my lunch and some other things in there. Let me talk about this giddy up seat. This seat is the most comfortable 
seat I think I've had on a bike. This is more of a wing style, but it is extremely comfortable. So uh, even come with a little cover to go over this. So I would highly recommend this giddy up bike seat. I've reviewed other uh, bike uh, seat brands, but this one seems to be the best one that I've reviewed yet. So anyway, yeah, let me get this uh, camera off here. Let me let me uh, talk about uh, checking out here now. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun for me to do the video and ride. If you got any questions on the bike, put it down in the comment section. Share and like and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification for any further videos. And I will see you on the next video.